Really cool outside today. Really cool. It's May. And now it's cool out. Come hang out with me in the shop today. Let's talk tackle today. Got some new things in the mill. I think I just heard the UPS. Oh, I got some other stuff in the mill too. But we've had some unusually cool weather that rolled through here in South Carolina the last couple of days. And uh, man, it's kind of got me wanting to fish it a little bit. This is my magic door. I've got some new products that I want to show you and I want to talk to you a little bit about a bait that I've been using that I think you, you're going to want to have it. That bait is called the Z-Man Bang Sticks. Bang, bang, bang. The Bang Sticks, really cool new Nico bait that, uh, that they designed over at Z-Man and why the president thinks it's the best bait in the world. Just threw that in there. I figured you'd like that. So a UPS guy just came. I ordered some stuff from Duke Cannon. You guys should check this out. I'm thinking about putting this on the website. Um, I've got some really, dude, some awesome soaps. I've used this stuff before. You know, I work on dirt bikes all the time because of my little boy. My hands are always, I mean, you can look at all the calluses and, dude, this thing right here comes from my fishing reel. But anyway, the heavy duty hand soap. I don't know what they got in this stuff, but it takes all the grease and grime out of your hands. Every man needs some heavy duty hand soap. And this is some hunting and fishing soap right here. This is a soap kit for you guys that like to hunt. I'm not a hunter, so I'll let y'all figure that out. I do know that it does take, like, you got a fishy smell on your hands, which I tend to love. I, I love it. It's got pumice in it. Don't you love that word, pumice? This is some antiperspirant for you guys that are from Belton, South Carolina, or anywhere from the south. Antiperspirant is deodorant. Put this under your underarms. <laughs> I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that. It doesn't have that real girly smell or smell like your uncle's. You know, what's that? What's that cologne that everybody's uncles wants? Stetson? I don't know what it is, but it doesn't smell real strong. It's just like it just does its job and you don't have to walk around smelling like a flower kid all day. Binder, my double binder here. It's pretty cool, isn't it? The V-Man double binder. I got like when I do a tournament, I have every plastic that I need for the day in this binder right here. And uh, that's what I got. My little zinkers. I've got some finesse worms. And ta da! The bait that we're talking about, the bang sticks in here. This is the one. All right, for you guys that are Ned Rig pros out here, what does that bait remind you of? It's a giant hula stick, right? A little bit thinner diameter, um, tentacles a little bit longer. It's, the bait itself is just a little bit bigger than the hula stick. All right, here we go. I got my two baits here. Now, something's important to remember about this, to the two Nico, Nico bait, Neko. However, Shinfuka says, Neko League. Here's the two baits. So here's the normal hula stick, right? The hula stick is what this new Nico style bait is based off of. That's the hula stick right here. This bait is the new bang sticks. The hula sticks is a four inch bait right here. It's got a four inch body. The bang sticks, Oh, that's a fatties. The bang sticks is 575. So almost two inches, you know, an inch and three quarter longer than the hula stick. But the cool thing about it, what we did, this, this particular color is called Canada Craw. I'm sure you can see it's got some gold, black, red flake in there. It's basically a green pumpkin on it. Um, but what I like about this deal is they made a weight that's specifically for Nico style. I'll show it to you. Here's the two baits. The cool thing about the new Nico weight that we have here, the Nico weights, I think is what they call that. We've got a bait, uh, a, a weight that you can use for your uh, for your Nicos. This is specifically for elastic. You know you can't get a nail weight in, in elastic hardly, right? It's really hard. So we've got a, a bait, a weight that is, uh, you can see it's got a keeper on here. This dude never comes off, especially if you put a little dot of super glue on it after you get it in. This is what you're going to do. Take your uh, hula stick and you just punch it right through the top here. And just like you do on, on like a jig head or something, you take it and pull it up and over like that. And then now it's, you know, it's there. It's on there. Off of there ever ever coming off of there so you take that okay here 
we got a hook here. This is not the hook that I've been using, but I like to use like a number two size drop shot hook or wacky style hook. But a lot of guys actually do use a straight shank hook like this. Whether you want to use weedless, that's up to you. I don't like to use weedless hooks on this. I just don't throw it at hang up, so I make sure it doesn't get hung up. Do whatever you want. But what, you, I, what I like about this, we got our bang sticks. What's the thing that always happens when you're fishing a wacky rig when you go to throw it? Plastic keeps going. That's super frustrating. You go to skip it under dock, plastic comes off. It's super frustrating. Well, with the last take, watch this, dude. Take my hook point, and I have the hook point going back towards the tail right there. I hook it right there on the slick part. You see there's a little bit of a slick part right there on your plastic. That's where I like to hook mine at. And you have that hook point back towards the tail. That way when a fish goes to grab it, you get the hook point, you pull it that way, you got him. Don't come off, man. That ain't coming off. See that? You made to fling it. No O-ring, you ain't gotta do anything. Just hook your bait on there and go fishing. Pretty incredible, huh? So it does not come off. That will not come off your hook. I don't care how hard you pull. So you don't need to, you have, don't have to use an O-ring anymore when you're out there you're fishing your wacky rig. This is perfect for it. Does not come off. The weight will not come off. The two most frustrating things about fishing a wacky rig or Nico is that the nail weight would slip out of the plastic or you had to have an O-ring and you still sometimes would lose plastics on the cast. So you can fish this one Nico bait all day long, never come off unless you break it off skip it under the dock or maybe an alligator alligator has i caught an alligator one time and it did take the plastic off so it's not exactly bulletproof z-man you need to work on that check it out talk a little bit about why the nico rig works so good in this video this is going to be a little bit different i'm going to switch now you'll see me talking about wacky rigging and nico rigging and my favorite now I've got three baits that I like to use when I'm talking about I'm gonna fish a wacky rig or Nico style bait. One is the bang sticks. This is a great bait that's designed especially for Nico style. Uh, you can see it's basically a stick bait, but what makes this bait unique is the fact that it has these little tentacles at the end of it. And that really gives this bait a lot of lifelike action. Every time you impart motion it, those little tails just kind of separate and undulate and that's what really entices fish to bite uh, you also can use any kind of straight tail soft plastic is generally what I'm going to use when I'm talking about a Nico style bait but you just have to really experiment with where the fish are in the water column and pick your soft plastic accordingly what I like about a wacky rig is it really really annoys fish that bait just settles by the structure when those fish are really lethargic and the, when they're having warming water the water's in the 40s and the 50s and it's rising in the spring those fish are really lethargic and that bait just settles right in his face and he cannot stand it he has to do something he either has to hit it or he has to get out of the way so the wacky rig is a great bait to fish in the springtime around docks around laydowns anywhere that you think fish will be using to pre-spawn or anything you think they'll be using right before they spawn this dude right here will flat out catch it Hey, hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about the Nico rig and the new bang sticks from Z-Man. Look for that guys in your tackle stores or you can also get it on my website at shopbelet.com in the finesse kit. Problem is, we are sold out right now, but give me a week or two, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a lot more in. For you guys that have ordered a, uh, a BLAT finesse kit, we had a little hiccup. They're out of binders at Z-Man. Call Z-Man and tell them, get some binders. We want our B-Lat finesse kits. Get them in now. But we do have everything. 
If you have a problem, feel free to shoot an email to the customer service and we'll make sure we get you refunded if that's a problem, just to wait a little bit longer to get those binders. But I promise you we're getting them back in. We're gonna get all those orders fulfilled. And for you guys that are looking to buy a finesse kit, just give us a couple days and we're gonna be back up and running and you will have some more be that for nest kids coming.